Hey Libra, welcome to your March reading. <clears throat> Let me drink some water. For some reason, like, like a, I, my throat, I just sound crazy. Okay. Ooh, okay, bet. So, welcome to your March reading. Um, yeah, your girl took a break. I'm back. I moved. I live in a more peaceful setting now, so I will be doing more readings moving forward. The cards that I use should be linked. That was very loud. I'm sorry if that was too loud and it kind of like upset you. My bad. Um, yeah, so the cards I'm using, they're going to be linked down below. Um, you know, shit. You know how I roll at this point. If you've been here, you already understand, you know, what I do, how I do. Um, so let's get into your tarot card for the month. I'm using a few different decks, obviously, like four different ones. So you already know. All right. Ace of Pentacles. This is your card of the month. What's up with Pentacles? Mm, it's March. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so with the Ace of Pentacles, what is this about? Oh, that jumps. Did you move on from a shitty situation? Now you got like more money or something? I don't know. I say that because of the Six of Swords. The Six of um, Swords jumped out when I was just like looking. I didn't really ask anything, but I guess let's get into it. This is like more general. So let's see. Oh, oh okay, I get this. Hmm. Okay. All right. There can have been a situation that you were investing in and maybe made you feel like, okay, like with the Page of Pentacles, this could be like starting small. <clears throat> so it could have been you start off small in the past. Now you're here with this Ace of Pentacles. This could be about you. It could be about like an endeavor, an event that you've been like, thing you've been growing. I don't know why I said event. Maybe you're an event planner. Maybe you're like planning something big. I don't know. But, and then there's a, the devil card too. Okay, so this shit, so if it was in originally something you really liked, um, or like an idea you were excited about, that shit got annoying very fast. But also maybe you got obsessed with it a little bit too, like obsessed with making whatever this is happen. Like to the point where like, maybe you're on edge constantly trying to wait to hear or see. So it could be a job thing. It could be like, maybe you applied for a dream job or something, or like you've had this plan of sort of doing something for so long. And then it finally happens and you don't like the shit. Or you might be waiting for the other shooter drop and so you're constantly on the lookout waiting to hear back. It could be from a job or from the experience or it could just be like... Oh, you might be waiting for a sign. Huh. Looks like you ended that shit. So it feels like a relationship or something. You're probably like, oh God, give me a sign, whatever. And you got your sign and the sign might have just gone off on you. You could have just gone, whoop, well, I'm done. It happens like that sometimes, doesn't it? It just happens and you're like, damn. Um, damn, I really don't give a shit no more. Anymore, let's see. Will of Fortune, wow. So what could have happened was you gave up the ghost and then your luck changed. Oh, and with the Queen of Swords, maybe you actively decided to just be like, you know, let me cut this shit off. And as soon as you, or like I said before, it just quit. Like that Wheel of Fortune spins, you just like, whoop, something changed you. You're like, you know, I don't even want this shit no more. It's not worth it. I saw the three cuts at the bottom. It could have been a friends group or wanting to join a group of people. Just thinking about how like, I was watching Harley Quinn with my friend and Harley Quinn wanted to join like the League of Villains. And she's like, fuck them, they're whack. She's like, yeah, they, they hang out with Charlie's boyfriend. Why do, you, why do you give a shit about them? I don't know. I don't know why I said that, but watch Harley Quinn. That shit is fun. I love it. Um, <laughs> that's great. All right, last one for that. Oh, yeah. Taking your passions elsewhere. Also bad bitch energy. You might have physically moved too. You might have physically moved on in pursuit of love. 
So if it's a relationship thing, you physically move, and you're like, fuck it. Oh. Yeah. That person might be stuck watching you and being like, damn, that person said they were going to do that shit, and they didn't. Yup. Did it. Mm -hmm. Might be an air sign that's spying you. Oh, you could have also seen that like, oh, if I stay here, I'm gonna be stuck. Uh -uh -uh. You might have silently dipped off. Or just, maybe someone was waiting for you to make a move and you did, and they just didn't know that you made a move. Cause that'll happen too. This hair is really giving me a hard time right now, but we're just, we're gonna roll with it. She's cute, right? It's cute. You. I'm just gonna keep gassing myself so I get through this reading because this hair is sticking to my lips. Oh yeah, you might have secretly moved on from a situation. Ooh, and the Queen of Swords when I cut it too. Lots of swords. So yeah, if you moved on from a situation, you may not have given someone the whole story. Not that you have to tell people shit. Cause look, some people will do things that are just so holy, like abusive and fucked up to your life, like and not even know it. And you can even be like, damn, I've been allowing this for so long. And then, hey, maybe a switch gets slipped or something. You're like, ooh, bye. And you can't always tell people, or like, if you have a job, you know your job is abusive. Why the fuck would you tell them you're going to get another job somewhere else? You wouldn't, you wouldn't. You would go find another job, you would give them notice and just let them be ratchet for the last couple weeks. So, like, whatever, y'all ain't shit. I still got the job. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. It could be a love thing. Two of Wands. Two of Cups. Or sorry. The Four of Wands. Two of Wands, Two of Cups. Maybe look up Two of Wands and Two of Cups. Fucking Four of Wands, The Lovers, and Two of Pentacles. Someone could be getting their shit together. Like, if somebody left, another person realizes they can get their shit together. Or if, like, all these goddamn. Because I was like the magician. It's like the physical space changes, right? And maybe you choose to do that. You choose to move or you, you make this big decision. It can be a decision in love, but I read this as a decision that you need to make and you're looking at yourself and it's like a decision regarding like self-love, right? So you're just like, look, fuck it. I got to do this. And maybe it's like you thought it was just like, maybe you just moved because you're like, I need a better living situation or moved on. Like I need a better kind of physical life or I need to be able to start to build foundations or build a home and it's just I'm just trying to get my shit together hmm but it ends up giving you another opportunity at something you thought you missed out on oof Woo. sorry a hair got directly in my eye and it, it hurt it very much hurt um, okay let's get on to your oracle cards because I'm like talking and talking we haven't even gotten there Ooh. using a Halloween oracle book You'll see the card in a minute. Oh, you got two. Oh, you got three. First one, we got the underworld where all things pause and begin again. I know how I mentioned before that it was about how you're just like, not a lot of people can get behind restarting their life or doing some shit. You know, not a lot of people can do that. Air signs are pretty good at like, people want to talk shit on air signs for being able to ghost or like take off, but it's like, it's, it's usually a decision. And so it's just kind of like, you might've had to take a break in order to return to like life. Oh. Oh. Um, the other thing is you could be taking a break to kind of work on yourself spiritually. Like, maybe, like, so much shit has happened. It could also be, like, a trauma thing or you're figuring out secrets related to work. Also, 
You could have just taken a break to work on, oh damn, work on yourself. There could have also been a lot of conflict related to work or home and it was just at the point where the shit was leaving you like bent up like there's no like not even like that it's just like you kind of like you needed to take a break from that shit but like a permanent break it's just three pentacles out oh because i did want to put that upside down could have been in a loveless situation or in a situation where it's like you were giving a lot and the person wasn't giving a whole lot Oh, you could be trying to figure out why you keep getting in situations like that. Damn, that was that was real clear. Um, <laughs> shit. It happens though, but I think that like exploring those things helps you to like fix your shit. And I say that, and then we have the veil, which is the future. Like the veil, and that's like future card. Maybe you're into being blindfolded, who knows? And then we got Lady De Los Muertos, and it's acceptance and, uh, and equality. The, I read this as, like, accepting, like, your flaws or your past mistakes in regards to, like, whatever it is you've been doing. I don't know. Like I said, people tend to, like, really be on their heads, their own heads about the shit. And it's like, yeah, you made a mistake. Yes, things could be better or different. Don't do that shit again. Sometimes you just go yikes. Yikes, I did that. Oh, yeah, you're no longer gonna, like, you're gonna reject situations where you constantly have to fight. Fight for someone's approval, fight for attention, or, like, just anything. Like, what the f It's so funny. Libras don't even like to argue, but the fight could just be an internal one. Like, you could be, like, if there are situations that, like, if you're not getting enough attention or enough recognition, that you're, and shit's making you insecure, then, like, yeah, leave doesn't get better that's just how it is um it's solo work if you're well, if you're walking away from like trauma of the past because i really peep this is the guy walking away i saw him first from stuff that happened to you when you were younger. It's a lot of internal work. Maybe you're finally ready to start doing the internal work. Okay. That's it. Let's see what may happen. Right? Or I set them up. Let's see. Let's see, Libra. Let's see. All right. It's the tea leaf cards. We're just going to see what comes out. Like someone was trying to yuck you or young maybe you got the hell out at the right time like it was a crappy job you left before like whatever the hell they were going to do they could do it you know like a cat this one took off all right this is starting to tell a story okay so if this is a relationship of some sort sort or like a job all right, so number one, somebody did have some shit planned. Someone was doing some shit, okay? So if you thought, oh, like they were talking shit behind my back or like this shit is, it looked like a setup to me. It was a setup. Um, yeah, because when I pulled it, it was my spy card, by the way. The Page of Swords, lots of waiting before striking. Cause they, they might not know what they do. Maybe they're not used to being an asshole like that to this degree. Like they want to be like some people want to be really bad and they want to be really like shitty people. They're not smart enough to be effectively evil and shit. Okay. So somewhere in there, you must have peeped 
that um, somebody was up to some shit. Yup. Queen of Swords, peep that somebody was up to some shit. And this is a bullshit. Seven of Swords just when someone's being deceptive. Could have been a money thing. Could be someone trying to get you fucked up at work. Um, strong emotion, passion, or hate. Depression, anxiety with the vulture. So we have fire as one card. Vulture as another card. A broken wish bone, meaning a wish will not be granted. This could have been a job or a relationship that seemed like it was going to be the shit. Or like a living situation that seemed like it was going to be cool and it was a nightmare. Um... Or you can see that it was going to be a nightmare. Like, you can see the cracks in the shit. Like, maybe everyone seemed real cool. And then you're like, actually, this place is awful. Yup. Infighting. Also, uh, people might not have liked your attitude. And you're like, what? I don't have a bad attitude. No, if you have a good attitude, they might not have liked that shit. Some people hate it. Some people are just weird little haters. It took me a long time to understand that. Because it's like... You know, I'll talk shit out front. I'm like, man, fuck that person. I mean, it's really not that deep. I try not to really talk too much shit to people. Just because, like, it's not that important. <coughs> so, that's why. It's just, like, it's usually not worth it. Or they ain't shit anyway. But, um, yeah, I don't know. That was weird. That may have happened. Either way, though, if you have an instinct that someone's up to some shit and you never think people are up to some shit, why would you think that? They're up to some shit. The only person that's going to be upset that you didn't listen is you. And I say that, right? And then the last two cards I pulled out of all that shuffling because they looked like they made the most sense was the I, which is a card about, this is like, there's like 200 cards up in this deck too. So you have the I is about psychic ability. It's like seeing things and then like that's one of the things you're, you keep seeing it. You keep understanding some shit's going on. And then dagger fears, worries, and tense situations. Trust yourself. You're gonna end up seeing the signs. You're gonna see the signs. I say, you're gonna come up with a plan. You're gonna take action. By the time you let them know, you're gonna know when the time is right. I'm telling you, go pick up on some shit. Do it, right? Make your move when you know it's time to make your move. Don't go second guessing yourself. And you get the justice card, which is a Libra card in the end. So like, you know, get it handled. But I mean, if it's a situation that you're not gonna do well in, figure out an exit plan. Sometimes you're out of moves. You know, sometimes you're out of moves one more. Okay. Have a defe defensive mindset. Make sure you have everything you need to succeed and be ready to take a stand and, and defend on it. Magician makes moves. Redirection or misdirection. I'm not talking about lying on people and shit, but misdirect it. Act like you sat and broke. That looks like that usually works. Make it seem like whatever it is that they're doing is working. Can you work your plan in the back? You know, it's the best way to do it. I don't know. I guess secret plans. I wonder what it is. Shit, what they do. They did enough. Oh damn! Maybe someone tried some shit back when you were younger or less experienced, and they didn't. They maybe maybe someone mistook you for more of a novice, or like you were in the process of moving forward, and they didn't know you actually big boss. They might they might have mistake you for a look like oh they look young, and so you were like hey, hey, hey. actually I'm a fucking general. Thought I was new here. I'm your boss. So yeah, stay bossy, Libra. Kick ass if you got it, but also have a good plan. Believe in yourself. Don't talk too much. Stop trusting people. If you know it's like, if it's a toxic work environment, don't trust none of them motherfuckers. Like, don't trust, don't. Keep it cute and always smile. Cause uh, a lot of people throw you under the bus for a check. 
And yeah, that's it. So don't trust nobody at that weird ass job if you have a weird job. That's it. Um, I would also recommend that if you are someone who normally speaks up about stuff, you realize there aren't gonna be any changes. Um, keep that shit quiet. And then you know when you put in your two weeks or whatever version of that is for whatever it is going on in your life, then you raise hell. That's it. I don't know. That's it for you, Libra. I mean, good luck. You seem like you already decided not to take nobody's shit. And you might see the betrayal coming. So I don't know. Start acting. Earn that Oscar. Yeah. Don't worry. I think if you see it coming, you know some shit is up. Don't worry about it. Work your plan. Yeah. Whatever happened in the past probably isn't going to happen again. And if it does, you're more aware of things now. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> thanks for watching your March reading. Um, yeah, drop a comment and all that. Let me know if you have feedback or anything like that. Let me know how you're doing. I'm going to be posting more. You know, follow me on the other social medias and shit. You know, I'm trying, y'all. I just got the internet in my apartment. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon, and check out your other placements. Bye.